All right, Coach, so um, you got a, a week to kind of uh, sit back. You get to lick wounds and come back now. But, yeah, uh, it was a rough week, <laughs> rough week, to say the least. Um, you know, a disappointing week, obviously. Um, you know, we, we were just coming off arguably our best week of the year, maybe, uh, doing some of the best things we've done all year. I could probably argue that, but, but a very good week. And then, uh, you know, just just didn't, didn't, didn't do it, just didn't have it this week. And uh, we're very disappointed, but we are back home against a, uh, an outstanding opponent, very talented, great defensively, great defensive team nationally, you know, if you look at national numbers. And so it doesn't get any easier. Do the last two performances bother you more because they were back to back? Would it have been easier if they were spaced out Absolutely. by a couple of weeks? Yes, yes. Um, and 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 back to back road game. You know, it's like you get two tries at this, and and uh, you know, it's not like if, if you lose, it's not like you did everything wrong. You just don't do enough things right. Um, one of the things that that really hurt us the most was we picked this week to miss a lot of good shots and that is the most uncontrollable thing that we have as coaches players whatever i really i, I actually you know watching let's say the tulsa film i thought the shot shots were getting for each other the shot selection the offense i, I thought we did great honestly we just missed a lot of good shots. That's going to happen. The disappointing part is what we talked about early in the year. It's what our team, we've talked day one. To have a great season, you have that's the nights you have to win on your defense or your rebounding or something. And uh, we didn't have that in enough. We didn't have it in spades enough to, to pull out those, those road wins. And um, that's what's disappointing. To have the next two games at home against the opponents, Memphis, Wichita State, and knowing that you guys are in that same, the same area in the standings here, how big is it? Just knowing that. Yeah. How about our league? How about how about the country? Mm -hmm. Have you look at you just look at college basketball in general right now? It's probably maybe the most competitive year I can ever remember, just across the board. And then you look at our league, and and I don't think we've seen it this tough on every night for every team, right? You know the first place to last place is not that far apart and it's also, you know, scores a lot of times. Uh, so every single night, maybe more than ever, is, is an incredible challenge. And we, we're, you know, our week, it sounds great to be back at home. We're, we're usually very good at home, but we're playing two great teams. So, you know, like I said, it doesn't get any easier this week just because we, when we came home, um, our opponents are great teams, talented teams. And, and both very tough to take down. You've talked periodically this year about your team is a, a shot making team and there will be nights like you said where that it's not falling. When you have one of those nights, is your staff inclined to try to draw up different things to get better looks or different looks or just well, you encourage know, also, your guys to keep shooting? You know, we played two games against matchup zones. And so those are a little trickier than trying to, you know, they morph. And so it's hard to, I'll give you an example, like if you play Tulsa and you run an action, they may guard it this way the first time, and then all of a sudden the next time you do it, they may shift over and, and kick a guy out. So it's very difficult to orchestrate when you play those kind of teams. Man to man, it's a little bit easier, you know. Um, there's obviously pluses and minuses of playing man versus a matchup zone or whatever, but, but maybe in a man to man type game, Yes, in those games, it's, you know, drawing things up can just be a complete. In fact, I, I see some teams do that, and they're, they're always, like, trying to find something, and it's just, like, frustrating. You don't want your guys frustrated. And the best way to not have them frustrated is to be getting good shot. If you can't get a good shot, that's what's really frustrating. So, you know, not so much in those games. But what we needed is uh, we needed to get a whole bunch more stops, um, and, we didn't, and we weren't able to do that. What did you learn from Memphis uh, in, the, in the first half, first game? Uh, well, they're they're hard to beat. Um, you know, we came from behind. We were behind 
the whole game, most of the game until, you know, took the lead very late, I think, if I remember right. I don't know if we led any. I have to go back, but I felt like we were behind most in all the game. They're very, very talented, of course. They've, they've got a number of guys that are projected to be in the NBA and, and uh, for good reason. And and they're they're well coached, you know, at both ends. They run really, really smart stuff on offense. They do. And they're, I just mentioned, they're a great defensive team. And so uh, they are not only talented, they're really, really well coached. Of course, they're young, but they have a different level of young talent than most people. Given the way the last two games went, how much of your preparation for tomorrow is maybe ironing out the mechanics to get some of those shots to fall, and how much is psychological, helping repair yeah, the you confidence? Know that, that, you know, the last thing you want to do is, well, let's go shoot for an hour. You know, I mean, we have good shooters, and, and over time, shooting goes where it's supposed to go over time. It's, but it's never going to do that in a night or a week or just over time. When, when all the smoke clears off a season, if you're a 38% three-point shooter, that's what you're going to end up being. But you may have a week where you went 0 for 10, and you may have a week where you're 9 for 10, and you're neither one of those guys. Um, so I don't get too whacked out about all that. I would be bothered on the offensive end if I thought we, we, were, we were playing selfishly or we were not in a flow. That part, that'll come back when it's supposed to come back. I hope it comes back tomorrow, but not a great opponent to score points easily on. But, you know, the other end, uh, but, but, but it also it takes talent to play. You know, you think, well, offense is talent, defense is not. Well, talent, there's talented defensive players. You know, there, there are. There's some guys that are very good at it, some not so good. Some are good at one area of defense, not so much at the other. Uh, we've been very good defensively at times, but I, don't, I could never say that I feel like we've been a great defensive team over time. And that's, uh, you know, that's, that's what we continue to try to get corrected, but it's not an easy fix. Um, we do have some weaknesses, and we, we can't always cover those up, but uh, hopefully, you know, we still have some time left, and maybe we can, we can get that done in the last several games. First time you saw Memphis, like you said, you've finished with that run to close out the game and pull off the win. What would you like to see your team do differently this time so that you're not in a position where you need a run like that? Yeah, um, you know, early on, I didn't think we were on top of them defensively. I thought they they were getting a lot of what they wanted. I thought our guys were trying hard and, and, and had done a good job of preparation, but in the, in the heat of it, I felt like we made a number of mistakes that, are, that you know, are, I think we could easily correct, I hope, we should. Uh, so hopefully, you know, from the defensive side, they'll feel it a little bit differently uh, tomorrow night. I think that would be the, the, the most, most important thing. And transition defense, they're very fast. They, they shoot the ball quickly. They really attack you. They're very athletic, so we'll have to do a better job than we did getting back and trying to make them, you know, play against the half-court defense.